Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is day 3 of Anime Expo. Before we went to the convention, Steph worked on a bigger Love Me section logo, and here I am transforming myself into Kanae Kotonami, aka Kyo Komogami's best friend, Moko-san. Uh, the collar was giving me a hard time, so I just grabbed my straightener and tried to like iron it down. Eh, I mean, it kind of worked, but you know what? Then came the wig. The wig and the weight of it definitely helped kept the color down. So here I am putting on the wig cap. Uh, this one was so comfortable. Honestly, I'm so glad that I bought it before Anime Expo. And then uh, I just didn't want any of my purple hair to show through. So I'm using eyeshadow, a combination of a brown and black to just cover up the purple. That way if any hair is exposed, it looks like it belongs to the wig and not, you know, me. <laughs> And here I am putting on a silicone band so the wig doesn't slip and fall. Honestly, the combination of the wig cap and that silicone band worked wonders and it didn't give me a headache. Like the little bra clip situation that a lot of wigs have. Um, if you have a big head, that gives you an instant headache. I know it does for me. So this combination that I bought at the beauty supply store worked wonders. So now that I got that out of the way, let's go to Anime Expo! Oh my god, it's the Skippy! The Skippy! You got recognized for Skippy. How does it feel? Amazing! Amazing? It's all worth it now. Okay. But well, we got one. We got one. Let's crash the Attack on Titan attack photo on Titan. shoot. <laughs> yes. Respect Shoujo supremacy. Yes. <laughs> there it is! That's what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. Give me that. Hey, Sal. Froggy boy. McCurmy. Yep. You want any of this? Where are the other Skippies? Trying to find the other Skippy cosplayers. Pink, pink, pink. Sakura! Look at her, she's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, Skippy Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. We're here with Kay, we found her. Oh, in industry. Oh, industry pass. <laughs> What's that pass? And here we were just hanging out. I love this Ikemen ad, by the way. It's so funny. And this is Kate Spack. She's a big Twisted Wonderland fan. And uh, here I am flipping through the Miku coloring book that I picked up at the Kinokuniya booth. It's like a winter wonderland, Miku and friends. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. Let's see Zipper's VA over there, just walking around. I wish I knew what the other VA is over there too. I wish I knew how to say, hey, excuse me. We're sprinting through. <laughs> <laughs> More fun stuff. So. Yes! yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the Skippy cosplays have been popular today. But we're still trying to find the ones that are dressed like us. Supposedly, like exactly. So maybe they got the same target jumpsuit. Maybe. Let's go. It all kinds of different ones and I just love cosplay so I love seeing people express themselves in a creative way that I feel like Goku or Ichigo or Rufi for different reasons because they identify with that character in some aspect or maybe they had a hard time in life and that character gave them a light and helped them through a struggling time so we each have our different reasons oh my god it's a wholesome monk it's a wholesome monk's book steal it steal it steal it steal it Steal it. Take, a See, take it. Take it. Take one. <laughs> Looking for the Skippy cosplayers. Wow. Skippy, where you at? 
I lost Kyoko. Kyoko. There's Miku. There's Miku. Kyoko. Onde andas? Ta Kyoko. Wonderland here. I'm gonna go say hi to my friends over at G Kids. Hopefully, uh, I know someone who's working here. But they did Bell. Oh, there it is. See, Bell. They're also in charge of distributing the Evangelion movies as well. I don't see anyone that's working this one. We got all the Twisted Wonderland stuff over here. Look at that. All the dorms. Evangelion coming to theaters in winter. Ah, I just noticed! That's going to be great! That's so cute. That's cute, that's cute. Go to the bitch booth. Be like, where's the shoujo? Give me more shoujo. Take all the wives. Take all the wives. Take all the wives? Yes. Oh. You're taking, take your sword back. I love your cosplay too! I know, I love <laughs> Tengen with the Tokyo Mew Mew girls with Kyoko taking the picture so many different series Skip Beat stuff got recognized as Skip Beat stuff Kyoko is gonna slice up Aisa yes yeah now I'm Tengen Tengen uh, Mogami it's that game! It's so fun! I always suck at DDR, but this is like... I would probably trip and fall. We spotted a Levi for the crystal. Shout out to my friend Chantal for helping me out and recording for my vlog. Thank you so much, Anderson Chantal. So, Steph and I were still on an Utapri high because, uh, I mean, Anime Expo was all about Utapri and Vocaloids for me. Uh, so, we chose an Utapri song to dance to. And uh, although we play rhythm games, we don't have any rhythm, at least I don't, but it was just so much fun <laughs> trying to dance to this. Uh, we both want to cosplay as Starish singers, possibly in the future. Um, Steph being Ichinose, I wanted to cosplay as Masato super bad. And uh, yeah, so we have uh, maybe about a year to practice this dance and maybe not, uh, well, for me, not stink this much. So yeah, gotta keep on practicing. So not only did we do Magic Love 2000%, but we had to take it back to 1000% and I did slightly better because I actually went instead of for normal to easy difficulty mode because yeah, homegirl cannot dance, but hey, we were ready. We were ready for it, sort of. Um, this was, again, a lot of fun. <laughs> just look at this, it's just a mess. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Check it out, that's the only part we were like, yeah. Check it out. But the rest, um, yeah, the rest is a work in progress. Gotta keep on practicing those dance moves. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I can't. To play a group coaster. You know, 
I was so excited to play Groove Coaster. I've been playing it a ton on my Nintendo Switch, but once I got to play, I could barely hear the song. Thankfully, I chose a song that I play very often on Project Sakai, so I could hear very little, and then the rest I just kind of sung along so I could keep up with the groove. Uh, it was uh, a, a struggle. It was a struggle, not gonna lie. For my second song, I chose Eve's Dramaturgy. I believe that's how you say it, Dramaturgy? I don't know. But I chose it, again, I play this song very often on Project Sakai, so I could barely hear it, and then the rest I just, you know, sung along to it in my head, and that's how I kept up with the groove once again. So, honestly, it was a struggle. I really wish I could have heard the actual music instead of like singing along to it in my head. But you know what? I still had fun and Mia was playing right next to me and that was also fun to just watch her play. What's Mia gonna do? Oh, clear! Nice. Did it. Maybe because I played Project Sakai and I played that song. Uh. <laughs> Oh god, last day, or Toya, come on baby America, 4th of July, dressed as a boy. I'm still so surprised by the shirt, like it looks good. Look at me, oh my god, I look like Toya. <laughs> so, we have uh, three different worlds today, Hell, the Toru. And um and Toya. A couple of high schoolers going to the convention. I'm gonna fall down everywhere. But Toru's gonna cuss me out right now. So much more That's calmer today. Take place. a picture with that. Look, they took down everything. We got none of the Watakoi free merch. We got Hoyoverse over here. More Kodansha over here. We're gonna go kick down the Obey Me booth. Just kidding. Love you. Love you guys. I'll take the VAs. I'll take. I'll take that too. behind you. <laughs> Toru Honda. Here I am testing out the Project Diva on the Steam. Uh, you can play it on your PC basically. Um, it's also available on the PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. Trust me, this is not sponsored by Sega. I am open for sponsorships. I love Miku, so yeah, hit me up. <laughs> this is me begging, honestly. Oh my god! Oh, the, oh yeah, they do. Oh my god, it's moving! The ears move! Mr. Popular. It's Toya with his redhead. Mr. How? The most popular one today. Prime membership right there. Kirby's very dedicated. And then you have the Ava girls over there with really good cosplays. Those are some nice cosplays. Turn left now! Oh, and God. crash! <laughs> it's so damn funny to they, turn left now, yeah. bitch! You don't want directions? I'm fucking crashing the line now, bitch! <laughs> Toru! We're gonna get this in English. Woohoo! 
black or white. Mom's what about your dad? Dad too. Oh my god, you oh have god. no parents? Damn, y'all be <laughs> Haru, y Haru, ahí está. Eh, aquí también. Ahí también. Pinche Haru Nanze. Pinche Haru Nanze. Never leave you. No. Look, he's ready to get married. Yep. Reed skip beat. Look at them. They look so cute. Oya is getting a lot of a lot of books. This is. I haven't been to a bookstore since May, so these are all new releases that I haven't picked up. So yeah. We got all the JJK blind boxes and little knickknacks and stuff. Why I'm bad as a vlogger. I can't, I can't, I'm bad at getting content for everything. I look like a mess. This is two days after Anime Expo. I'm finally back home. I have a lot of shit to unpack. Uh, yeah. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the Anime Expo vlogs. I tried my best to get clips here and there, but what I really wanted to do, which was go in the panel, especially like for the manga announcements, it was just hard. It was hard getting into the panels. Um, I'll make another video with my thoughts about Anime Expo because I do have quite a lot of them. Uh, for the most part, I do think the event was uh, very poorly organized. I could have used a lot more signage. And especially for, I mean, for an anime expo veteran, they know where to go. They know how things work. But for a complete newbie like myself, uh, yeah, it was not the most beginner friendly convention in my opinion. So I will post another video with my thoughts um, and also include some tips for people considering, you know, saving up for next year's Anime Expo. Personally, I don't know if I'm going to be going to Anime Expo next year. It really does depend on who they decide to bring <laughs> to Anime Expo, like guest-wise. It would either have to be, you know, VAs that I really love or maybe mangakas or something, something like Lamiku. <laughs> But yeah, I will make a separate video. I'm feeling quite tired. Not so much like a, a little physically tired, but more like socially drained. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna go back to, you know, doing my regular thing, like post on TikTok and on YouTube, do my TikTok lives, uh, recharge my batteries for the next convention because in a few weeks I will be going to a different convention. I will make an announcement uh, very soon. I'm just waiting for things to get finalized, but I'm excited for this next convention because I'm not just going there as like, you know, a regular person. I'm going there because I got invited. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Twitter. All my links are in the information bar below. And uh, I will also be doing a video about what I picked up at Anime Expo because there was a lot of cool merchandise. Also some cool freebies as well. So I will make a separate video on that. So yay! <laughs> It feels so weird not wearing a wig. Um, yeah, like my bangs don't know what to do. They're just, yeah. I have a cowlick and it just does not want to cooperate with me. So I need to edit these vlogs anyway. So here I am with my glasses, which I have not worn glasses in a few days. So that also feels weird. I can finally see things. <laughs> My skin can finally breathe. It's not under super heavy makeup. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna go now for reals this time. So bye!